A Malayalam film director was detained at a location where he was filming for reportedly sexually assaulting a lady he met on social media. Following Liju Krishna's arrest, the director's organization, the Film Employees Federation of Kerala, FEFKA, cancelled his membership, while the Women in Cinema Collective requested that he be suspended from all film bodies until the issue is resolved. Krishna was apprehended on Sunday while filming Pedwait to Inkanur, where the Nuin Poli movie was in the last stages of production. Sunny Wayne, the actor, is the film's producer. Krishna was brought to Kochi, where he was remanded in judicial prison by a magistrate court. The incident, according to the collective, has highlighted the importance of enacting the Protection of Women from Sexual Harassment Act, 2013, in the Malayalam film industry, as well as publicizing the Justice Hema Committee's report, which was established to look into issues faced by female professionals in the industry. The survivor said on the collective's Facebook page that she helped write the film's screenplay, but the director never acknowledged her contribution. The sexual exploitation allegation was not handled by an internal complaint cell at this film production. When I raised the matter with people involved with the film, Lee Ju attempted to portray the exploitation as a mutual agreement. My pride and will for life had been broken by the relentless attack and torture, she stated. She recalled the incident and said that the director had been sexually abusing her since June 2020. He forcefully dragged me to the home least for film-related activities and informed me that he needs my presence to receive respite from the stress of film production, she wrote. I was on my periods, yet he sexually raped me without my permission, woman testified of the first alleged assault. He refused to take me to the hospital, despite my pleas. That trauma was too much for me to bear. I attempted to tell him of my failing condition but received no reaction from him. The director contacted her again in October 2020, according to the lady. As per his request, I set up another location for filming. I had been an active participant in the pre-production work and had offered plot revisions. During this time, he took advantage of me on many occasions. He invited me to a filming site in Kannur in June 2021 and compelled me to stay at his home, where he attempted to sexually abuse me. I refused to relocate and went home the following day. To overcome the trauma, the lady said she needed to see a doctor. However, Leju Krishna had already captured me to the point where I couldn't escape this poisonous connection. My body weight dropped from 60 kilograms to 32 kilograms. My health has deteriorated to the point that I am unable to sit or move. Right now, I'm being protected by my pals, she said.